catchphrase. It's, it's Richards, a wonderful, wonderful actor. They had a great talent and uh, still working. Still working. Richard is still working, one of our great actors. Wonderful stuff. Been in many, many things. Very, very good actor. An actor. So there we are. Now, what have we got here? Let's just. Aye. Aye, that's it, Glenn. That's it, Glenn, lad. You know, all the knows. Uh, <laughs> Remember, we used to shout on the phone, phone in, Glenn, you know, I, I would say to people, that needs to get a life, love. And they shout, that should get life. <laughs> no idea. I only know about the fourth wall from watching TV, especially about comedy shows who like to do so. They break the fourth wall. The fourth wall being the route to the audience. Just a wee kick around the corner here. There we are. Excellent stuff. Oh, and uh, I'm just going to share in a group because I think that's important. You've got to keep the faith. Uh, but the new show will be very, very big. I can tell you that. Uh, so there we are. Wonderful. We'll just let everybody know. Right. Uh, remember when he picked up the little dog as though he was the telephone and the one when he went to the Algarve with the great Peter Cook? They were all fantastic. And, of course, the wonderful Annette Crosby, another outstanding actor. Wonderful. Remember her playing Queen Victoria to Timothy West's Prince of Wales, Timothy West's Edward the Seventh. Well, he wouldn't be Edward the Seventh until Queen Victoria died, but he was the Prince of Wales. Scotty four two nine one, absolutely, Glenn Peacock. Yes, indeed, dinky do. Uh, we have uh, some huge, huge numbers here. Tremendous. <clears throat> You can send out a tweet and 10,000 people see it. I, I love that. It's, it's absolutely mind-blowing. There we are. See, that's another wonderful platform. You can get onto Periscope. So there you go. There's another absolute belter. Wonderful stuff. We like that. Now, um, I don't pop up on it a lot, but I... Did do a fair bit on, on Periscope. Uh, Evening, Scotty. How are you, my good sir? Ah, the wonderful Robert Stinger has just joined us. Dinky do, Robert. We were a bit earlier tonight, Rab. Uh, so um, 53, 54 minutes into the show. But uh, not to worry. Uh, there's no rush. And I'm just doing a bit of sharing here, letting everybody know what is what. I think it's important. There we are. And I shall just send that as well. Why not? Tell 10 to tell 10. Has anybody got a big group they could share this with? Just to see who's out there. Evening, Scotty. How are you, my good sir? We're very well, Robert Scrimger. I thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. I do remember the dog thing, Glenn. I'd like to see if I hear someone else's phone ring. I pick it up and say, 4291. 4291. <laughs> 4291. I'll tell you another thing that people used to say. Um, they would pick up the phone and give their name. So you'd ring, ring to somebody's house. And they'd pick it up and give you a... Uh, McDonald speaking, you know, or they just answer, just give their name. They didn't even say hello. They pick up the phone and go, McDonald. <laughs> you thought, what? <laughs> you thought they were having a laugh, you know? <laughs> uh, have you ever had phone calls to when somebody picks up the phone and they go, who's that? <laughs> you, you pick up the phone, say, Hello, 4291. And they go, who's that? Who, who are you? Who's that? <laughs> uh, I liked when Victor Meldry appeared in Father Ted, fun times. Oh, that's right. Was there not a punch up? Uh, because Father Ted was using his catchphrase, something like that. I seem, I seem to remember. We loved that. Wonderful stuff.